Hey YouTubies, welcome to today's video. I am super excited about it because it's all about food and diversity here in Niagara Falls. If you grew up in Niagara Falls like I did, you are pretty much either Italian or a manja cake. Today in Niagara Falls, there's a melting pot of people with, from different, different ethnic backgrounds and all the delicious flavors that come with it. Stay tuned. Maybe you're thinking about moving to Niagara, you're not sure where you're gonna get your favorite ingredients for dinner, or perhaps you live here and you just want to mix up some of your dinner options. There were actually so many shops that I went to that I had to break this video up into two parts, but let's start with number one. So sentimentally, I had to start with the oldest place I know uh, in Niagara Falls, which is the Portage Bakery. It was initially established in 1934 in its uh, original location at the corner of Portage and Main Street and in 1947 moved to its present location at the corner of Gladstone and Ferry Street. So coincidentally, the current owners are celebrating their 50th year uh, as owners of the Portage Bakery. So of course, primarily it being a bakery, the, yet they also carry, of course, um, their pizza, which is absolutely delicious, uh, lots of deli meats and uh, Italian groceries. So my next stop was at uh, Patel's Indian Groceries at 6734 Lundy's Lane. But you could probably find it easier if you know where the beer store is. It's right across the street. So Patel's has already been in that location for five years. Uh, it's quite a big store and they have uh, quite a large frozen section as well as fresh vegetables. There is quite a nice looking uh, display of treats there as well as quite an extensive uh, spice selection. Every day they have a fresh selection of pakoras and samosas as well as spring rolls. My next stop was at the Polonia European Market in Delhi on Thorlstone Road, close to the corner of Dorchester, just next to the gas station. So Polonia was previously at a location on Victoria Avenue, but this Thorlstone location is uh, quite a large store. Aside from having quite a large deli section, they also have a, a hot food section, which is made uh, in-house, as well as uh, fresh baked uh, buns uh, made in-house as well. And of course, I can't not mention yeah, those okay. amazing uh, plum-filled uh, donuts they have. Uh, I don't know if they make them on site, but they're absolutely delicious. I was leaving Polonia and I was shocked to see uh, in the Service Ontario Plaza, there's a, a new store called the uh, Bazaar Istanbul uh, Turkish Market. So obviously they were carrying things that you'd expect to see in a Turkish or Lebanese shop like uh, harissa, uh, coffee, uh, Turkish delights, uh, but they also carried some specialty items as well. So some specialty products they had there were uh, Turkish imported sea bass and anchovies, also on site, this guy had his own uh, roaster there in which he had an assortment of uh, nuts and uh, different flavored nuts as well um, that he, uh, he made on site. So I of course could not leave without a piece of feta cheese, which does not even arrive in a package, but comes in a truck in a, a large oak barrel. Uh, I must say that the, it's probably the best feta cheese I ever had. It's super tangy and delicious. So hopefully I'm saying this correct at Huapin uh, Asian Grocery Market. Um, nice size shop, very clean inside. And uh, she told me to come back on Sundays when they get in their uh, specialty pineapple buns. Thanks for watching this video and uh, stay tuned for part two of this. We'll have five more great uh, small uh, shops in Niagara Falls where you can shop for some specialized ethnic groceries. See you next time.
So lastly for today, there is a new Asian grocery shop located on McLeod Road near Dorchester in tucked in behind where the uh, A&W is. I hope you can catch a uh, part two of this. I've got five more places to shop for some great ethnic foods in Niagara Falls. Thanks for watching. See you next time.